the thought of living in a burrow in the ground for almost one's entire lifetime is remarkable. I liken it to being at the bottom of a missile silo and looking up at the sky and your entire world is a circle of sky above you and, uh, and, and that's is in essence what your um, universe is like. Well, I started this survey in 1987. I wanted to study a, a spider that's found in Florida scrub and was easily detected by the fact that its burrows are very apparent. And uh, I wanted to see if the population sizes would vary in time, especially if they would respond to fire uh, and maybe to some other factors. The two species, Geolycosa zira archboldi, and it likes big gaps of open sand. And the other species is Geolycosa hubbelli, is the one that's more common. It tolerates leaf litter. So there have been three fires out here since I started it. After a fire, I will find hundreds of burrows, maybe close to a thousand all told in my 15 plots. And then when there hasn't been a fire, the numbers of spider burrows goes down to, to maybe 100 or 200. And then if there's a lot of flooding, as there has been since 2001 with all the rainfall we've had, the burrow numbers crashed to about 10 burrows two years ago. Last year it rose to 25, and this year it's back up a little bit to 57. So it looks like their populations are recovering now that it's starting to dry out. Two years ago, when I found only 10 burrows after a week's worth of searching, I was really dejected. And then I thought about it and I flipped it around and said, wow, this is occurring naturally. And it's probably the sort of thing that happens maybe every 50 years or so when you get years of repeated heavy rains and maybe an occasional um, tropical storm or hurricane. And so these animals have been here probably for say 100,000 years or more. So they probably um, can in the long term cope with it. So they may disappear in my study site, but they're certainly elsewhere on the station. And so slowly they can recolonize sites where they've gone locally extinct, but it might take years and years. So here's an opportunity to look at regrowth of the population. I think of the James Taylor song, I've seen fire and I've seen rain and I've seen days of endless sun and that's pretty much what life out here for these spiders is like.